Hello, everyone. Today, um, we I wanted to share with you this book. It is uh, the top ten distinctions between millionaires and the middle class. This is a book that I don't know if you can see that there or not, but uh, this is a book we shared with some um, clients that we worked with last year. And it's a fantastic little book. It's you know it's basically everything you've read in like twenty other books all distilled into a short little summary. And there's some really good distinctions here that it has. That it has. Um, one of them is millionaires think long term, the middle class thinks short term. Uh, pretty cool, a little, little bit maybe obvious as well. Um, another one is millionaires talk about ideas, the middle class talks about things and other people. Um, kind of neat perspective. Um, another one is millionaires embrace change, the middle class is threatened by change. That one I think is uh, a good one. But the thing that sticks out for me about this book a lot is um, is this one, distinction number seven. It says, millionaires take calculated risks. The middle class is afraid to take risks. And it's not so much just that, but in this chapter, um, the author here, Keith Cameron Smith, talks about a survey, and he doesn't actually quote the source of the survey, so I'm not sure if it's an actual survey done recently or what it is, but on page 37 of this book, he quotes this survey and he says that they interviewed a whole bunch of elderly people that were over the age of 90. And they asked if they had to live their life over again, what would they do differently? And the response was, the number one response was um, they would like to take more risks. They wish they had taken more risks. And to me, that's pretty eye-opening. So that means there's a lot of people who get to the age of 90 years old, they look back on their lives, and they wish they had taken more risks. And whenever, as soon as I read that in this book, it is stuck out with me. Um, it's, it's, it's fantastic. There's two other a answers they gave. Um, they would take more time to reflect on good moments of their lives and appreciate them. I think that's fantastic and you know we, we can probably all do more of that. Um, and on the bad times to learn from them. And the thir third most common answer was they would do more things that would live on after they were gone. So to try and leave some sort of legacy. So you know I always think that l learning from our elders and people who have gone before us is the way to do things. To me this is a fantastic little insight into how uh, you and I may think. Um, when we're 90 years old, and it really kind of drives a lot of the things we do here. So, uh, a fantastic little book. You know, maybe take some time uh, today to think about when, when you're older, what are some of the risks that you would wish you had taken? You know, so if you're on the fence debating starting your own business, getting into some real estate investing, think about that a little bit. So, that's it the top 10 distinctions between millionaires and the middle class. Great little book. Um, well, there is a big um, Nick. Nick picked up these little things that's causing a little bit of commotion in the office. This is Tito Ortiz, a UFC um, fighter. There's a big UFC 100 fight tonight. Sarah in the office is laughing here. Uh, the, there's a big UFC event um, this Saturday, and uh, my favorite fighter, George St. Pierre, is, uh, is fighting. So if you're into that, that's this Saturday. And I'm not going to tell you who this is, but if you can guess who this bobblehead is, uh, send me an email and uh, we'll, we'll ship something off, um, off to you. That's it for today. Until next time. Your life, your terms.